These are such strange times. I have to say that over the past year, one of the things that I have missed the most is the city of New York. It's not only that New York happens to be the center of the universe, but it is also a testament to the grandeur of our profession. Every towering skyscraper, every architectural wonder, and every artistic monument exists and is standing fundamentally because of the work of structural engineers. But above all, I miss all of my interactions with all of the members of this association. Uh, the deference, the friendship, and the love that you accord me every time I come there. And of course, the enthusiasm, the energy, and the excitement that you bring to the CSI party uh, every time we have that, it's something that I really miss. And I'm hoping that this pandemic will end soon and we can come to New York and have the biggest party that the city has ever seen. So I really am looking forward to that day. So today, I thought that I might spend my time talking about why I love this profession so much and why I think this profession is so important to humanity. For those that study human psychology and human chemistry, they will tell you that human beings are created for one fundamental reason, and that reason is to make the life of another human being better. That's the way we are built. It's part of our basic constitution. And the beauty about structural engineering is that we make life better for all of humanity on a daily basis. I mean, just look at the things that you do. Your retrofit work, that preserves the past. It preserves our heritage, it preserves our history for all generations to come. And the new work that you do, that builds the future. It makes sure that all of these incredible dreams of buildings and structures that architects and artists dream up, you make sure that they are going to stand. When people that are not structural engineers recognize what we do and understand what we do, my God, they are completely blown away. When people ask me what I do, this is what I tell them. We develop computer models of buildings and bridges in the computer memory. We blow wind on them. We shake them with earthquakes. And the software tells us which portion of the structure is gonna break so that you can actually fix it before it's even built. They look at you. Man, are you some kind of a genius or what? But you know, isn't that what we do? Yes, it is. You know, but we have a tendency to take it for granted. The beauty about structural engineering is that it's real. You see it all around you. And it is something that is very, very easy to explain. We make sure people have incredible places to work, but at the same time, they don't sway in the wind and make people seasick. That is your technology. People see structural engineering on a daily basis. It's part of their life. They cross the bridges that you have designed. They work in the buildings that you have designed. It is the structural engineering profession that protects us from the ravages of natural hazards like earthquakes and windstorms. You know what happens when an earthquake comes in a region where your technology is not used? Hundreds of thousands of people actually die. But when your technology is used in say, Seattle, where an earthquake comes, only one person dies and that too out of fear, out of a heart attack. Nothing to do with the physicality of the earthquake. 
That is the power of your profession. You are the reason we actually have an economic infrastructure. If it weren't for you, all of progress of humanity would come to a screeching halt. You design things so that they stand. We in the profession need to recognize that. History is testament to the fact that structural engineering has always played a major role in pulling us out of any depression or any economic downturn. Because this is a profession that will be very instrumental in bringing our economy back on track as this pandemic subsides. And you know, one of the reasons I really love structural engineering because it is a profession that reflects the positive side of humanity. It is a profession that is about progress. It's a profession about prosperity. It's a profession that vitalizes the economy. And above all, it's a profession that reflects happiness. And then to recognize the contributions of so many structural engineers that are members of this amazing association and their contributions that have completely changed the way humanity works. And one structural engineer's name that comes to mind is Ray Clough. Ray Clough is the inventor or the founder of the finite element method. And most of us structural engineers know what the finite element method is because it is the method that's used in the analysis of buildings and bridges and all types of different structures. The amazing thing about the finite element method is that it's a method that is used in the design of practically everything that we use as human beings. And it is not used just by structural engineers. It is the method that was developed by a structural engineer, but is used by all disciplines of engineering. Structural engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautical engineering, aerospace engineering. It's used in the design of buildings and bridges, obviously, but it's also used in the design of airplanes that you fly around. It's used in the design of all the cars that you drive around. It was used in the design of the lunar module that took humanity all the way to the moon and brought them back. It's used in the design of artificial limbs, dentures, or the blades of the blender that made your frappuccino at Starbucks this morning. And something simple as the grooves of a potato chip for maximum crunch. And that's technology that was invented by a structural engineer. We need to know that. That is your technology. You own it. And recognize the incredible contributions that our profession has made. Uh, most of us are familiar with the Intel Inside logo, right? We all know what that is. It's on every computer, right? Uh, but every time I look at that, it bugs me. And let me tell you why, because there's a history associated with that. You know, years ago, when the IBM PC was introduced in the early 80s, Intel was the company that was providing IBM with uh, the microprocessors that ran the IBM personal computers. But nobody knew about that. Everybody thought of it as basically it's an IBM machine and Intel. Nobody knew that Intel was the company that was actually providing the brains that ran the computer. And that started to bug Intel. And then Andy Grove, the then CEO of Intel, went to IBM and then they said, we're not going to provide any more microprocessors to you unless you put this nice Intel inside logo on every computer that is shipped. Now, of course, IBM thought about it. They had no choice and they agreed. So now every computer that has an Intel processor, it comes with this round logo on it 
that says Intel inside. So what has that done for Intel? It's basically now the whole world knows what Intel does and the impact that it has on the computer industry. Now, the question is, why does that bug me? It bugs me because I think we need something like that. I think every building that's built out there, that is designed by a structural engineer, obviously, needs to have a big round logo on it that says structural engineering inside. Why? Because it's only due to the structural engineering that that building is even standing. And then if every building has this, people will know the reason behind the fact that that building even exists. All we have to do is to get together and tell our customers and our clients that we're not gonna do any work for them unless they put this big round logo on the building. And if we all decide that that is what we are going to do, they will have no choice but to agree. I mean, where else are they going to go? You are the ones that make the building stand. Without you, there will be no structural designs. There will be no buildings that would be capable of standing. Crazy as it might seem, but I think it's something to think about. That way, everybody will then know what we do as structural engineers because they will come and say, hey, what is that inside mean? And then you can tell them. So I have to tell you about this dream I had related to the Structural Engineers Association. But I dreamt that I was watching television in the middle of the night. It, it was being announced the chairman of the Nobel Peace Prize nominating committee. And what she was saying was uh, the Structural Engineers Association had been awarded that year's Nobel Peace Prize. So it's not important, the fact that we have not won the Nobel Peace Prize yet, or the fact that we are not even in the running, that's not important. What is important to listen to what she had to say, because it so defines the essence of who we are and what we do. As soon as I woke up, I, I got a pencil and paper and I wrote them down because I really didn't want to forget them. So I wanted to read to you what she said. This was the chairman of the Nobel Peace Prize nominating committee. For all the buildings that could have collapsed, but didn't. For all the bridges that could have fallen down, but didn't. For all the dams that could have busted, and flooded all of humanity, but didn't. For the technology that has saved tens of millions of lives and has spared us from death and destruction. For the technology that has preserved and protected progress and prosperity for all of us today and for countless generations to come. For all that and more, we hereby bestow upon the Structural Engineering Association and all of the professionals that it represents this year's Nobel Peace Prize. So congratulations. How about that? Now, on that note, you know what they say, you always exit on a high note. I don't think the note gets any higher than this. So at this point, I'm going to end. Let's hope that this virus disappears soon so we can get together in person. And I promise you, it'll be the biggest party that the Structural Engineering Association has ever seen. But until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you.